A fire ripped through a garage, killing a pet dog and displacing two families. More than two dozen firefighters were called to the scene and tried to keep the flames from spreading throughout the house. That fire broke out Sunday evening. CBS News 8's Dominic Garcia has a look at the damage and the investigation. We were just watch, uh, watching the football game. My dad comes in and it's like, there's a fire going on next door. And when Kyle Smith and his brother Ryan rushed out to tell the neighbors, this is what they saw. The whole garage over here was on fire. The top of the roof was um, it spread to the backyard and it's pretty bad. When fire crews arrived on scene, they saw a single story family residence with heavy smoke and fire showing from the roof of the structure appeared to be in the garage area. Firefighters from several agencies responded and it took them 20 minutes to put out the flames. The garage was a total loss, and the main part of the home was scarred with heavy smoke and water damage. Two families lived there, and while no people were hurt, one of their pets wasn't so lucky. Upon doing a primary search, you did find the, uh, a family pet, which they pulled out and tried uh, resistant, resistant efforts, uh, but the, uh, the pet did not survive. Neighbors say it was a small chihuahua. Sad. I've, I've taken the chihuahua back to the house a lot of times when it, when it gets out, so... It's sad that the trial didn't make it. In all, two adults and seven children were forced from the home they were renting. Off camera, one of them told me they were actually planning on moving out Wednesday. You know, our hearts and uh, prayers go out with the to the families here today, especially uh, they lost a pet. But uh, I'm Red Cross is in route, like I said, and we're going to do everything we can to help them out. Dominic Garcia, CBS News 8.